Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. How to turn your projects into Command Central and Active Collab. From the many conversations I've had with many accountants and bookkeepers who've been having the same struggle that many of us have had in terms of finding the quote unquote right project management solution, I mentioned in the write up, I'll say it again here, there's not going to be an easy answer that I can say this is what you all have to use. And I don't even know that it's fair to say that any one of these tools that we're all using couldn't work for anybody. But what it really comes down to is you have to use a tool that appeals to you. If you don't enjoy working in the environment that your project management application provides, that's a problem, right? And so that's why I've come to believe that many, and maybe even all of these solutions, could work for anybody in the accounting industry. Because what I've also noticed most recently, especially, is that it's not so much I should I should say it's not as much about the tool that you're using. It's more about how you're using it, right? One of the reasons I love Active Collab is that it's it's an out of the box solution that's just set up to run perfectly because you can create your projects, you can create your task lists, you can create your tasks, you can easily switch between a Kanban view and a list view, and there's a lot of flexibility here. I can reorder these lists very quickly and easily so that I can just bring to the top the list that has the things I want to focus on most. Now what I prepared here is a project that's organized in much the way I like to think about organizing things whenever it comes to doing a bookkeeping project or to you know uh, a bookkeeping engagement. And I talked about this in terms of how I set up Slack for my clients. I you know a lot of bookkeepers and accountants tell me I don't know where to start how do I set up my channels and the answer is think about the balance sheet because the balance sheet in a company from the bookkeeping perspective is really what becomes your checklist right if you make it your process to update the balance sheet every week and every month when you reconcile that should pretty much take care of 85 to 95 percent of the job right then it's a matter of looking as you're going through the things on the balance sheet such as the bank account it's a matter of paying attention to where the money is going. I'll never forget this quick story, really funny story. I had a new client I was working with going through the books and you know, went through everything. And he said, yeah, everything's on the balance that should be. And I saw these humongous payments going to a name I didn't recognize, couldn't figure out what it was for. And when I asked the guy, they were payments to purchase a private jet. And this major asset that he was paying for was completely left off the books. So the point I'm making is when you're going through the balance sheet, you're looking for unrecorded things like that, that the payments themselves give away uh, information about. A lot of times a client says, I don't have any credit card accounts, but then we start seeing payments out of the bank account clearly to a credit card account. Anyway, um, so I, I like to think in terms of using the balance sheet as a checklist. So I've created a quick, simple sample bookkeeping project, which you can see I've started to organize in exactly that way. We'll have a list for banking related tasks, accounts receivable, payroll revenue expenses. I've seen others do it based on timing like monthly, quarterly, but the reality is you can set up recurrences on tasks and active collab. So I think having lists based on that kind of timing also is a bit redundant and Uh, perhaps unnecessary, right? But what I really want to show you in terms of how to make it command central, and this goes back to what I said a few minutes ago about, about it being about how you use the product, not so much which one you use. And Active Collab, you'll already see in this, I also mentioned in the write-up, has this WYSIWYG editor, what you see is what you get editor, where you can easily format things. And this is going to come into play in a minute. But I wanted to point out here what I've also pointed out in the write-up, that any other project management tool I've used, and probably the first two that come to mind, which are very popular ones, are Asana and Trello. Both of them have markup language, which you then have to go into their help help files to learn to use, to learn how to, you know, I think if you put a star around something, it will make it bold. If you put an underscore around a word, it will make it italics. And so you have to go learn to use this markup language to figure out how to get any kind of formatting when you're writing a description in a task. Well, one of the things that I mentioned that I like to do, which is kind of my prime example right now of how you start to turn this into Command Central, is another list we want to add here, which is going to be called Reference. And all of my clients are in Google Docs. So this becomes the first thing I do. And I'm going to show you exactly what I meant about bringing something to the top so you can focus on it. So I brought the reference list right up to the top. We're going to create a task here, and we're going to call it Google Drive. 
And this is not a task that will ever get completed. What I want to do is I want to bring in two uh, links here. One is the URL directly to their folder on the web. So I'm going to just grab that from my other screen real quick. And you can paste it in just like that. And when I save this, it will render as a link. But to make it a little cleaner, maybe what we'll do is we'll take this, Control X to cut it. And I'll just put the words Google Drive web folder. So it's very clear. Highlight that. We'll click on the hyperlink option, paste that URL in. The text to display doesn't change. New window. I like to do that kind of thing as, wherever possible because it helps me sort of keep my place. Then I want the local folder. This way, again, command central, the first place I'm going to go to whenever I have to work on this client is going to be their active collab project. And then from here, this is one of the critical things because I'm now giving myself from within that one central place a very quick way to get out to where all the files are, right? So let me get the uh, folder here. I'm just using, of course, the folder where this blog's information is uh, being held as the example. So I'm going to take my file path, and in Windows you can do this. I know there's a way in Mac to do this, um, but I don't remember how. So I just click in here and get the whole file path, and I'm going to paste that right in here. Now this isn't going to render as a link per se, but it's just a quick copy and paste whenever I go in here. So I can open up a new window here, right? And initially I'm just in my documents, but rather than, and even though I've got my stuff very organized, and believe me, I do, Rather than sitting here browsing through the file structure to try and find the folder, all I have to do now is go into the task, click on it to get into it, copy that whole file path, bring up the uh, new folder that I've just opened, and paste that file path in here, and boom, it takes me right into the folder. And what this does is it just saves time. It takes what might take 60 seconds and cuts it down to 10 seconds and that may not seem significant in the context of this one instance but when you add that up across all the different projects that you're jumping into perhaps all throughout the day and all throughout the week it starts to add up and my belief is that every little thing we can do to function in this cloud-based ecosystem especially if you're doing it the right way and I do believe there is a right way to do it part of which includes the fact that you truly do everything entirely and exclusively in the cloud because if you have that as one of the foundations of how you do everything that you do, then there'll be no question you can always do stuff like this, whether it's Google Drive or Box.com or Dropbox, for example. Anything you use, you can easily do what I just did here with Google Drive and link straight out to things. So that's how you make Active Collab Command Central for any projects you're working on, is you simply, first of all, make it your process to always go to Active Collab first, and from there, you'll provide yourself with the links or the information to get out anywhere else you need to go. In one client's case recently, I started using this notes area, which I haven't done much video-wise on this yet, but I will. The notes area is really, really cool here. First of all, visually, I love it. It looks like I'm in a recycled uh, note paper pad. But, um, you know, beyond that, it's just a really handy way. And obviously, it's a great place to put information having to do with this particular project. And again, it's right here in the same place. And if you haven't yet, also check out the discussions uh, and the files. <coughs> I don't necessarily use. I have Google Drive for that. But if you do attach a file to something in here, uh, it will show up in that queue. Another cool thing, speaking of attaching files, edit this task, attach from. It's got a Google Drive integration, so it will attach the link that will also take you straight to that file. So in addition to having this, it doesn't cost me any extra. If in my banking area I want to link, let's say, directly to the folder where I have all the PDFs of all the client's bank statements, right? That might be something I would definitely want to do in the banking area. So much more I could show you. So little time. I've already gone on for almost 10 minutes. So another time and in another video, I'll show you more. And especially if you've heard me reference something that you would like to see, then please post your comments. Also, if you just like what you see, please post your comments. I love to get your comments. They help me. And the more you help me, the more I can help you with wonderful free tutorials on how to make your business run more smoothly. And once again, this is how I turn my projects into Command Central in Active Collab. As always, I hope you learned something here, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.